Hello students. Welcome to the course Deep Learning. I myself Shah Jahan Abubakar from CAC AML department, KIT's College of Engineering, Kolhapur. In the last class, we have discussed about the loss functions. What is a loss function? What are the different types of loss function? Out of that, we have discussed regression losses. In the regression loss, we have seen mean square error as well as mean absolute error. In this class, we are going to see classification losses. So, we will uh, learn more about what is a classification loss. So, coming to the classification losses, there are lot of different types of classification losses. We are mainly discussing here only the cross entropy loss. Out of that, we have first one binary cross entropy loss, weighted cross entropy loss, balanced cross entropy loss and categorical cross entropy loss. These are other types of classification losses, hinge loss, focal loss, Versky loss, softmax loss, combined uh, Lewis softmax plus VS, BC loss, etc, etc. But, but we are not going to uh, discuss about any of these losses here. So, first one binary cross entropy loss or simply we will say BCE binary cross entropy loss. This is also called sigmoid cross entropy loss or log likelihood loss. It is coming after the sigmoid activation function then we introduce a cross entropy loss then it is called that sigmoid cross entropy loss. You can see here the formula of BCE loss which is minus y log y cap plus 1 minus y log 1 minus y cap where y is the actual output and y cap is the predicted output. So, y into log y plus 1 minus y log 1 minus y cap. So, this is intended to use for binary classification if you want to say whether the given example like it is a dog or not classifying whether it is a dog or not that kind of binary classification this kind of entropy loss is used. So, the output value can be either 0 or 1. So, if instead of one single example if you have m samples then this formula is like average of all these losses. So, you can see here BCE equal to minus 1 by m summation i equal to 1 to m y uh, superscript of i log y cap i plus 1 minus y i log 1 minus y cap i. So, we will uh, add the all the losses then divide by m for the m sum. So, why we are going for a binary cross entropy unlike, unlike we are using a um, MSE loss or MAE loss what we have used in the linear regression thing. This is because we can see here an example if you plot a graph between weight and the loss for a li linear regression problem using MSE, the loss is coming down, down, down and finally it will uh, place at the global minimum. But if you use the logistic regression with the same MSE loss, this uh, loss is not coming, it will come down here and it will stuck at a uh, local minima not going to the global minima which has to be here. So, this kind of function is called non-convex function. So, it should be a convex function to uh, get the value to the global minima. Okay? So, uh, how we can derive why we using a uh, what is the intuition behind the logarithmic loss or cross entropy loss. See, this is a formula we have uh, shown in the last slide which is BCE loss equal to minus y log y cap 1 minus y log 1 minus y cap. The same function can be rewritten like this BSC y and y cap is equal to suppose we put y equal to 1 you can have y as either 1 or 0 suppose y equal to 1 what will happen 1 into log y this term will be there 1 minus 1 is 0. So, this term will vanish only the first term will be there that is what minus log y cap if y equal to 1. Similarly, the second case when y equal to 0, 0 into log is 0. So, this term will vanish and 1 minus y 1 minus 0 is 1. 
so only this term will be there log 1 minus y so there is a minus outside so ends minus log 1 minus y cap if y equal to 0. So, same equation only we have taken as two different terms when y equal to 1 as well as y equal to 0. Now, we will see 1 by 1. So, the case 1 which is when y equal to 1 the first one minus log y. So, what happens if we predict 1 the prediction is 1 you are taking for example, you have a dog you predicted exactly 100 percent it is dog which is which is meant y cap is equal to 1 what will happen log 1 log 1 is 0 there is no loss 0 loss ok. In the second case when y cap the prediction is 0 0 probability that you are going to predict the dog is uh, the given object is dog. So, it means y cap equal to 0. So, what will happen here in this formula 1 minus 0 which is 0. So, minus log is nothing but log 1 by 1 minus y cap. So, it is 1 by uh, 1 by 0 which is infinity log infinity is what infinity see it is infinity. So, if you plot that when y equal to 1 which the target output is 1 when the prediction is 1 there is no loss when prediction is equal to 0 there is a high loss infinity loss. So, it is look like a uh, logarithmic loss ok. Similarly, when you take the case y equal to 0. Uh, binary cross entropy which even y and y cap equal to y uh, second line here when y equal to 0 case if you put the y cap equal to 0 what will happen log 1 is 0 and what happens if I put y cap equal to 1 1 minus 1 is 0. So, 1 by 0 is infinity. So, log infinity is infinity. So, you got this. So, y cap equal to 0 loss is 0 y cap equal to 1 loss equal to infinity. So, you get a graph like this. Okay. Now, what is the intuition behind this? We will see this. For example, if you have a dog is the your class means y equal to 1. If you predict y cap as 0.9, then you are telling that 90 percent chance that the given image is dog. So, there will be a small difference, but y cap equal to 0.8 if you predict what does that mean 80 percent that it is a dock. So, we will put a threshold for example, anything greater than 50 percent is then I am considered it as dog only. So, there is no much difference even if it is a 0.9 or 0.8 because anything greater than 0.5 I am telling it is dog only. So, there is a small difference here also it will not uh, contribute difficulty in the model output. So, that is why we can have a, a less loss when this is the value is very big, but consider another case. Another case for example, the same problem statement if it is dog y equal to 1, if it is not dog y equal to 0. Suppose you predicted y cap is equal to 0 0.2 which means you are telling 20 percentage it is dog. So, it is not a dog. So, classification output itself is changed from y equal to 1 to y equal to 0. See, I have given a image of a dog, but it is telling only 0 0.2 percentage it is dog. Similarly, y cap is equal to 0 0.4 it's telling only 40 percentage it is dog but anything less than 50 percentage I am considering it is as not a dog. So, the classification I got a wrong classification. So, this will have a serious implications. So, we will give a higher weightage for the low predictions. So, that is why it is a logarithmic scale when you can see in this uh, graph when you have a smaller uh, means uh, the prediction is around 90 percent, 80 percent, 70 percent we have a less loss, but when the prediction is behind 0.4 or 0 0.2 I am getting a huge penalty. This is the induction behind the categorical cross entropy. Next one is weighted cross entropy. So, this is same like a cross entropy only the only difference is we have a weight multiply beta into y log y cap. So, if the beta value is greater than 1 this term will have higher uh, weightage which means uh, the positive prediction will have higher weightage 
compared to the negative samples. Similarly, if the beta is less than 1, this will have less weightage. So, the negative sample will have higher weightage. So, decrease the number of false negatives, we will set beta greater than 1. Similarly, to decrease the number of false positive, we will set the beta less than 1. So, it is similar to cross entropy, only thing is the positive uh, term is weighted with a factor beta. This kind of weight, uh, weighted cross entropy loss function is used when the class imbalance data set is used which means for example you have an image with 10 percentage black pixels and 90 percentage white pixels you see the white pixels uh, num count is very high compared to the black pixels so there is a class imbalance this kind of uh, data set if you have you will use weighted cross entropy so next one is balanced cross entropy this is similar to weighted cross entropy the only difference is uh, here both the term is weighted here it is beta and for the negative sample you have 1 minus beta. So, negative samples also get weighted. So, it is called a balanced cross entropy. Next one is categorical cross entropy loss. Here this is also called soft max lo loss when there is a multiple class multi class problem uh, you will use categorical cross entropy. So, the formula for categorical cross entropy is this minus summation i uh, to capital C, I can take uh, the different classes, C classes. For example, you have multi class. Uh, suppose you have an example of uh, classifying animals. So, cat, dog, horse, elephant. So, how many number of classes are there? That is what C. Then yi into log yi cap. yi is the uh, each class uh, target value and yi cap is the prediction value. You can see one example here. Suppose your y is 1000 0, means only the first class 1. For example, the, this class is cat class. So, it is a cat. Then your prediction y cap is equal to suppose you get an output 0.82 percentage uh, for the probability value for the cat and 0.1 for dog, 0 0.03 for elephant, 0 0.05 for the uh, some other animal horse or something. So, here this formula will be doing like minus uh, yi is 1 into uh, log 0.82 plus next one is 0 into whatever this value then again 0 into uh, log of this and 0 into log of this which means only the first term will be there 1 into log 0 0.82 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0. So, the total value is 0 0.0862 that is a loss. This is how we use a multi class uh, loss function which is called categorical cross entropy loss. So, in this class we have discussed about uh, the loss functions uh, mainly for the classification loss. Next unit, this is the end of this unit. Next unit will discuss about the neural networks forward propagation, backward propagation and how the weights are learning. Okay? Thank you.